All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on the tip binding. And so first let me just cut out appropriately sized piece. And so this tip binding is cut uh, just from the rest of my binding strips here. So it's the same material. Next, I'm gonna be using a grommel here. Set up the grommel to the size, or the width, I should say, of my binding piece. And if anything, you want it just a hair shy of the total width there, so that this will sit just a little bit proud. That way we can sand it back in the end. I carefully score deep lines with the grommel, starting from one edge and working towards the middle, and then starting from the opposite edge and pulling towards the middle. And I do this on both faces of the tip. Then I carefully remove material with a chisel, keeping the chisel edge away from my scored line, popping out small individual pieces on the grain line, working my way from one end all the way down to the other. When necessary, I'll rescore the line so that the pieces keep breaking off cleanly. Now I can fit the second piece, which is thinned out on the sanding board, in order to compensate for the thickness of the first piece, which will be visible on that face. So for both sides of the binding to be the same width, one piece has to be thinner by the thickness of the first piece. Okay, so as I was gluing this up, my camera, the SD card for my camera apparently reached its capacity and it stopped recording. So you missed me putting this tape on here. All you really need to know about that is similar to how tape is used on the binding everywhere else. I'm just placing the strips on one side and then pulling the tape over tight on the other side to cinch that in. And then with the next piece, I do the opposite. I'll place the tape here and then pull it tight, ratchet it down on this side. And then I keep alternating that. So now I place the tape here and pull over on this end. Place the tape here, pull over on this end. But this has sat for at least an hour. 
Actually, it's been here on here for a couple hours, so I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. Um, another thing here that I didn't bother to film, just because it's redundant, was this piece right here. I cut and installed this binding strip here in the same fashion that I cut and installed these two here. Uh, the only reason I didn't do two strips, like you have here, is because the heel covers this entire edge right here, so you won't even see this face the heel will run right up against it. So all you'll see is this face. Now, if you were doing this sort of work, but with a heel that was more of a triangular shape, then yes, you would just have to, you would just do this just like we did for the tip over here. And now lastly, I still just have to fine tune one more thing before it's completely ready for binding. And that's uh, the very top of these strips, which extend a little bit into our nice and perfect channel here. So I'm just going to take a nut file like this, the kind with the flat face on one side and the teeth on the edges, so that the teeth aren't cutting into the binding channel at all. And I'm just going to take this and very carefully manage this by eye. There's only a small amount of wood here so it's very manageable to just do this by hand like this. If you learned something here, please give this video a like and subscribe so you can be notified when I release a new DIY guitar making video every Friday. And if you want to really learn more, take one of my structured online courses at ericschaferguitars.com or register for a hands-on guitar building workshop here with me in Burnville, Pennsylvania.